Tis morning. What do? Mm. Huzzah. <clears throat> Rainy doesn't come down. Reese is probably the first one down at the bar, given that at sunrise it was like, okay, it's time to stop trading. I think I might be the first one down after Reese, like the one that actually slept. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm going on a walk. I'm going to find the ingredients for his tea. <laughs> Craig is going to. Welcome. Sorry, Craig is going to smith something. Do it, Craig. Smith that the hammer, thing. his backstory. We fixed it. <laughs> yeah. He just makes the hammer. Boom. That's it. Oh my god, that was so easy. Yeah, Power I'm out. Friendship. See you guys <laughs> later. <laughs> Gotta go. Mission on the go and accomplished. To, the, to the smithy. <laughs> He's going to smith just like a really simple kind of like necklace thing. And it's just going to say <laughs> Reese. And then there's going to be one notch, two notches, and then there's going to be a bunch of space next to it underneath his name. That was good. Oh my god. That was good. Nice. And then I we'll go back to Reese. Yeah, yeah, is Reese eating? No. <laughs> He's kind of, he's got another bottle, so I'm guessing another. Oh my god, this new guy doesn't <laughs> need to eat. Uh, no, I do. I just, not a thought right now. Uh, I would say, no, on top of, on top of getting another bottle, take a level of fatigue, Reese. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, and, uh, he's probably just staring at the table. <laughs> Let's come down. Good morning! Good Morning. There's something different about you. Did maybe some hair change or? Uh, I mean, it depends on when you're talking about. I mean, it just kind of looks like you, someone pushed you down a mountain, but like not in a mean way, in like a. <laughs> it, it was kind of a mean way. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be mean about it. You don't look very good. Are you well? Oh, I'm. Says so some trouble sleeping. He'll be fine, Logan. <gasps> I actually can help up. with that. You're and I reach into my pack <laughs> and I pull out a tooth. At this, <laughs> I think at this point, Raina finally makes her. <laughs> we slept in a little bit. <laughs> you make your way down just as Morgan pulls out a tooth. The bar has emptied from the large crowd last night, albeit Reese and Morgan, yourselves, and Frigg passed out over a table who never made it to her room. Oh. <laughs> oh. No. Baby girl. Poor baby. Actually, no, I, I need a little time with this one. I gotta make the magic. But, like, I can I can come up with something if you like. Uh, you'll, have, you'll have to, like, join the queue, because, like, I'm trying to make some tea this morning so I can go meet someone. If I'm Morgan. Oh, I appreciate it, but it's not... It's not necessary. You sure? What am I gonna do with all these teeth? I got a little overzealous when I was collecting some the other day. <laughs> I mean, you're free to make one. Free to make one if you want, but... Do I want it... to know why you have a jar of teeth? Oh, it's for good luck. Well, not for good luck. It's for, for, for dreaming. I, I needed some reagents, and there were some just kind of lying around, and so I took them. Teeth are good for sleeping. Well, teeth are associated with sleeping. And then you can make a tooth to help you sleep. I will take your you word for it. you just eat a tooth? You are better <laughs> at magic than I am. You know, this is did what he just straight up hangs out with. <laughs> <laughs> I could not focus on what Reyna was saying because did you just eat a tooth? Yeah. So could you please re sorry. repeat yourself? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, all, all she said was that she's going to take your word for it because you are better versed in magic than she is. I don't know if I'm better. We, we definitely study differently, though. Uh, I'm not even well, sure I, I was really studying. Studying. It's just kind of, 
Oh, me neither. I don't study. Well, that's yeah, not true. I do study sometimes, like, after the fact. But, like, no, I... Me too. It's probably normal, hmm. right? No offense, Morgan. Witches are weird. Uh, who's saying this? Einar. Morning! Einar! Einar. Oh, okay. Well, you guys have a fun night. Yep. Oh, what'd you do? Don't worry about it. Oh, sad. <laughs> Never Good change. Job. And I'm gonna give him a pat on. I'm giving him a pat on the back. I'm gonna go make tea now. Fun. I leave. Um. Actually, go ahead out real fast. I realize I'm near my computer. Just be back. All right. <coughs> I'm assuming I wasn't there. Do I see Reese on my way back? Um. Probably. Yeah. Can he be like finding us on the way out? Like, yeah, oh, yeah. hi, Craig. <laughs> like, like Morgan leaves the door and you hear him. That isn't. Oh, hi, Craig. Oh, hi. Morning. Uh, Reese, can I uh, talk to you real quick? Sure. Bye, Craig. It won't be, it won't be long. <laughs> See you, Morgan. He's just gonna like pull him off to the side and be like, "Hey, I um, I wanted to give you something," and he's gonna pull like the thing out of the pocket. I heard you and Brynja last night and I just God, wanted to let you know just get, give her give her time and for what it's worth you'll always be Reese to me I know you still have all those memories you still care about us I still care about you and she does too, she just doesn't know it yet. So this is for you. And next time we find another Reese, I'll put another notch in it. <laughs> Don't worry, I left space for at least 20. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try not to make you update this too much. Thanks, bud. I appreciate it. Appreciate you as well. Make sure to get some breakfast. Yeah. Alright. Most important meal of the day. And I'm just gonna rock on. <laughs> <laughs> Julian, I hate you so much. Why? You know what you did. <laughs> I, I don't, because there's one of two things. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Here, uh, Twitch chat. I'm gonna type in what he wrote in our chat. I couldn't tell which thing you were talking about. I couldn't tell which thing you were talking about at all. Okay. There we go. He I is recent. Well, recent. recent. Actually, just give me a caller tag. <laughs> I swapped the leash for the collar. <laughs> Congrats. Oh, God. <laughs> Moving up in the world. Does that mean I'm uh... domesticated now? All right, Reese, You're institutionalized. You... It's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're way too feral to be let, uh, to let Ronda around unsupervised. We just microchipped you. Oh, <laughs> 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 we put a stamp on them. We yeah. carved oh our names into God. this fur. <laughs> oh boy. Where are you heading, Reese? <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm head to like the nearest like general store just to find a cloak with a hood. Okay. Um. Let me see. Call it. 
you make your way uh, to Belmore's general goods, uh, finding your way inside. It's run by a very crotchety old man who gives you heck, but eventually lets go of the, the cloak with the hood that he has. Um, two gold. Easy. Oh, and I'll put it on. Put it up. Back over in the hangover hideaway. How's it going, Brynja? <laughs> hangover um, hideaway. Yeah, I think oh, probably will be up there for a while. I'll probably just slink downstairs to buy a bottle and then slink back upstairs. Try to be not noticeable and just fucking stay there. <laughs> You pass Reeve on the stairs, he just kind of gives you a nod while he's holding his head as he walks down. Oh. <laughs> yep. 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 So she just sneaks right by us? Damn. Uh, go ahead and make me a stealth roll, Brynja. Oh, yeah, no. I, yeah. I Shifters be shifting. Mm -hmm. Shifters yeah, be I'm shifting. Pretty... I'm pretty stealthy. Uh, okay, so let's see that. So. Your brother's stealth here. Yes, he is. Okay. Uh, that is okay. a five. A five. A yeah. five. Unnoticed. Yeah. Morgan, you find your tea ingredients. I really want to make it. Like, I do like the root of, like, the flower that I got. What kind of flower did I get? Um, let's say it's... You know, I'm blanking. I can't think of a bullshit name off the top of my head. Snowdrop! <laughs> Snowdrop! There we Snow go. Snow Lily? Snow yeah. Lily. Snow yeah. Lily. <laughs> uh, cool. Um, I want to make sure, because, like, I think Morgan likes texture in his tea, because he's sure. weird. <laughs> so like we're gonna strain it and do everything and there's gonna be like little bits of root mm -hmm. of snow lily root up in there yeah now I'm just gonna bring it all to the keep sorry I'm fighting stuff back right now I'm dying um and I'm just going to go up to like the dungeon entrance and just kind of walk see if anyone will let me in they do um seems as if they were told to expect you Thank you. Can I just pass on down? What is it like in this dungeon? I know it's a weird thing to ask. I just like, on a scale of like, Juvie to Guantanamo, where where are we? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's not Guantanamo bad. <laughs> okay. Um, it's actually really not that bad. Outside of just... It's like white um, collar. Yeah, yeah, more or less. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Medieval white collar. <laughs> Medieval Ye old. white collar. Ye old white collar. I want to find him. <laughs> Jesus. Is he, like, pretty easy to find? Yes, he is not hard to find. You uh, make your way through the cells, your footsteps echoing on the stone floor um, as you eventually round the corner and you see in one of the cells... Uh, a small wooden bed with some hay laid over the top, uh, a fur roll at the bottom, and um, Kilgrove kind of curled up on the bed with his back against the wall. I... I knock on the metal bar. Kind of lifts his head. Hi. Uh, morning. I... Wow, this is strange. I've never visited someone in prison before. I anyway, I just wanted to come talk. I brought tea. He's kind of squints at you and then rolls back over. Well, I just take a seat. I just sit down on the ground and I start pouring myself some tea. Sprinkle the root in there. 
I take like a little like little saucer or whatever the hell I have, probably like a fucking tanker or whatever, and just try and finagle it through <laughs> the bars so that he can have it if he decides. Okay. I really am sorry. You kind of got us at a terrible time. Um, it wasn't supposed to be that messy. It must have been very difficult with the whole aftermath and stuff. Do they have a date for you yet? Three days. I might be able to talk to them and change that. He kind of sits up and spins over to you. Why would you do that? Because I think we can help each other. I am trying to be nice. I intentionally didn't bring people here because, honestly, you didn't make a lot of friends outside. Helping each other would have been agreeing to my initial terms and leaving the Shatter Shore. Oh, no. The problem with that one is we were recently kind of blackmailed and so trying to do it again it was just bad timing you know it happens I take him but at least we can help each other out in a different capacity I'm trying to find <clears throat> I'm trying to find one of my, my friend's sibling and I'm wondering if you can help us And I what just the push game? the tea a little closer to him. What is the game that you're playing? What game? Your motivation, why you're here. Do you really think that I can help you? Do you really think I, I want know. to help you? Uh, I think you want to not die. Would it really hurt to just have a cup of tea with someone who wants to be your friend, at least on a very specific kind of notice, and see what waits for you? I could just leave you here. You could just kind of, you know. He stands up, walks over, and sits down cross-legged in front of the tea that you push through the bars. Don't call us friends. He picks up the tea and takes a sip. What should I call us then? Does it yeah, matter? Uh, that's fair. Now, we have a little bit of information regarding all of this in in the demigod Shrokolder and we're in your thing with Vigdis, and I'm confused as to how that into You're talking about the Red Lord. Yes. I don't give a shit. Not tied in any way. They can believe whoever they want to believe, follow whoever they want to follow. You're All not matter, involved, you just had you just got right. on. I was their employer. They were my employees. behaving in a very employee kind of manner. They seem to be really organized. What was his one name? Um, hold on. I, Julian's having a hard time because my notes kind of got destroyed. Um, Reyna's husband. <laughs> Vigo. 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 Um, Vigo seemed very in charge of everything. They're fleeing south. Do you know anything about that? All I know is that they accelerated the timeline that they intended to leave. They agreed to work. If you don't see it as employee-employer relationship in our partnership for a given amount of time. Why think this?
Is Arthur with me? <laughs> is Arthur with you? I think he is. So like Arthur's sitting on my shoulder. I'm like, what about Victus? Why, why, why Victus? I spent a lot of my life not getting anywhere because I didn't know enough. I didn't know enough people. I didn't know enough politics. I didn't know enough secrets to get someone to be motivated enough to do something. Why not, Victus? You want to control, right? Well, that's what this whole thing was about. <sighs> yeah. This is really unfortunate. I kind of thought you'd give me something I could use. Drugs and takes a sip of his tea. Try, Julian is trying to think of if I forgot anything. Um. No, that's all. Well. Enjoy your uh, lodgings, I suppose. Um. Uh. Sorry we couldn't help each other. Thanks for the tea. He passes it through the bars. You really don't know anything? You gotta be more specific. Can I make it? A... Yeah, I guess I'm not asking the right questions. He's just a pencil pusher. He wanted control over a single thing. Those dudes were not very helpful in getting it. Vigdus was just something he was using. The flower gear don't usually operate without a give and take. What did you give? What did Vigdus want? What else would Vigdus want? Secrets. Anything. Everything. From a whisper in your partner's ear to the gravest of political secrets that could tear down a nation. Anything I learned was shared with her. Okay. Eh, I leave. I'm a bust. Enjoy your execution, I guess. You see him kind of shuffle and get back on his bed. So, Odin, I was thinking of something, and I don't know when this would happen, but eventually Brynja is going to crawl out the window and head to the keep. So she's not going to go through. Okay. She's going to mope in her bedroom sure. and use the window <laughs> and make her way to the keep at some point. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Crap. Did you... Did you forget something? You went... I mean, I told... I told the Arl that I would deal with it, didn't I? I think you just told him that you, you just requested to, like, interrogate him. Okay, because I was... I remember being like, I can solve this problem. Wait. I just want to make sure I'm not going to be held into that, because I'm pretty sure I told the Jarl I could deal with it. I think you, you said you could, but he said it, but he turned you down. Yeah, you offered. And yeah, you were he just wanted like, to. I just oh, okay, want a cool. handshake. Never mind. I just want to make sure that I did everything that was required of me. Cool. Okay. Okay. Brynja, where are you going to in the keep? The cleric. Morgan, you make your way out of the dungeons, out into the keep, and further on out into the city. Hmm. I'm just gonna find my friends and be like, I didn't find out anything. That was kind of a waste of time. Oh, 
But we could, I guess we could, someone could come with me to visit him again sometime. We have a, a talking relationship if you wanted to ask something, but I didn't find anything of use personally. Did you ask him what might be over in the, the two Mark Sarks? What? The, the dig site and the, <clears throat> the hill that says, uh, no. No. Join. Nope. I totally forgot. No worries. We can go back. He has three days left, so if we want to ask him anything, we should do it soon. I mean, if you'd like, it's not super important. But. I mean, if you think there's anything to be gained out of it, maybe we should ask everyone. Maybe we should get a list of. I should have gone with that first. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll wait till Grenya comes down. Okay. Yeah, is she alright? I know she's... I, mean, I don't know how late Ball were up last night. She was kind of angry last night. What happened? Oh, she didn't like his name, I think? I think she wanted to give you a different name. Hold, hold on, you guys. Is he his son? Oh no. <laughs> Been there. Okay. Done that. Max is <laughs> moving shit off my desk. I was like, no! Because <laughs> uh, I was hiding his um, treats up here for a little bit, and he smelled them, and now I have hidden them again, and now he's freaking out. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, say that again. She was angry. Oh, I think she didn't like your name. I think she wanted to give you a different name. Yeah. We should find a different name. Why? That that is more or less up to you. Do you usually make a habit of keeping, like, have you always been a Reese? Was it just, like, happenstance that you came upon another Reese? Are you Reese Jr.? I think at this point, Reese just pulls out the bottle again and uncorks it and takes another swig. I wish I had answers for you, Morgan. I really don't. Wait, your caller says Reese. So wouldn't that be weird to call you something else? <laughs> yeah, I guess you have a point there. Don't want to let your work go to waste, eh, Craig? Yeah. I mean, the way I look at it is... Is your name attached to your body or your soul? I have no clue. Again, I just don't have right now. Where's Brynja? Room? I'm, no, I'm just going to mimic what Craig said earlier. Give it time. Alright. Were Craig and Raina both an earshot to be debriefed on what I told them about Koger? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Okay, cool, making sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Brynja, you make your way um, back to the cleric. Similar fashion, the door's left slightly ajar. I kind of hesitate at the threshold before knocking. Yes, come in. Um, might push open. 
you push open the door and you see the cleric wearing um, a large pair of gloves as he's kind of like examining some of the the uh, uh, heretical <laughs> Vigdis stuff off of the shrine. Just like keeping it very far away from him. Like, <laughs> I'm so sorry if you're, you're busy. Um, I can I can come back at different time, but I no, I'm busy all the time. What do you need? I probably look fucking. <laughs> I don't look good. <laughs> he kind of like sets it down and looks over uh, to you. God, you sick? I, I kind of um. The Jarl said, "What you might know." I have this. Uh, how, how much? And I look at the, the, Clark gear shit. You help protect against Clark gear. I do my best for interventions, but sometimes things get a little too far involved for me to be able to assist. I may be a high cleric, but there's only so much I can do against the gods. Like you are not. Yeah, no, um... Yeah, um... Sit. I mean, motions over to a chair, off to the side. She goes and sits down. Stiff. Uh, I, I, I'm afraid, I'm afraid I, I don't know if you could, this might be a total waste of time, but I, um, I, and I kind of motion, I, I can't, I tried to help someone and now I'm um I'm being and I kind of like like I show the the dagger I can't get rid of it I'm kind of like squats down examines the dagger hmm Looks like something from the Blood Rats. I am. Um, I, I was. I have the ability to um, to speak and communicate with them. Spirits and um, I found the, this in a body. And when I tried to take it out, that um. Belongs to Black Ear. He wanted me to use it, and I told him no. And um, but I still I can't get rid of it. And I'm I'm afraid I'm I'm afraid I I can't, I'm too I'm scared. His voice kind of softens a little bit. Tell me more about where you found it. How you found it. And what I, was happening. I described him what happened. I used it, and now I'm... I'm afraid that I can't... get rid of it. I'm afraid I don't. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't want it. I don't want anything to do with it. Him. 
but I hear it. All the time. It was soft before, and then after I used it, it's a little louder. And I... Like, I hear it? It wants me to, um... To do some really bad things right now. And I can ignore it, but it's there. He's always there. You see him. I'm afraid there's not much I can do outside of give you a little information, maybe some hope. Unfortunately, what you described to me sounds like it came from an anchoring ritual. It's very, very dark magics and creates an incredibly strong connection between our realm and his. When you shut off the magic like you did, that anchor has to find somewhere else. Unfortunately, so long as it is in your possession, that anchor is your soul. I cannot, of course, in good faith, encourage you to go and find another to perform an anchoring ritual on. But that does not leave you with many options. With magics as strong as this, you will have to speak to someone incredibly gifted in the arcane. I would employ you to seek out anyone skilled, more skilled than I am, and likely any more skilled than your friends. Ask them about it, and should you have good reason, it may be worth even requesting an audience with Seun. <laughs> God, of course, of course, of course, it's her. It's it's her. Um. I only recommend it as she is, despite being one of the spec here, one of the greatest magic users, period. This is so random, but thank you, I, I appreciate. I'm sorry, I cannot provide yes. a god's help. I can only do so much. <laughs> Confirmed a lot of... a lot of fears that I had, and at least... It's better than not knowing. I... will promise you I don't ever plan... to ever continue so long as you maintain that path hopefully this will provide you hope and your soul is not forfeit it is just caged and you simply need to find a key thank you thank you Here, and she goes into her bag to dig out some some coins. Um, it's like, like it just kind 10, of holds out his hand. <laughs> I provided you no service outside of listening and talking. Thank you. Um, I, I won't take up more of your time. Um, thank you again. Uh, 
good good luck with them. Be careful. Um and she's gonna get up and awkwardly and then she's gonna hover at the door. Do you do you know anyone who is associated with black roses? He kind of like pauses and looks over to you. That would make sense why she would reach out to you. Black Year's sister. Ava. She likely has seen that you're in a rough spot and in need of help of a god and wants to talk. Especially um... since you're currently in her brother's grasp. She gets a bit jealous. Thank you. Thank you. Did that confirmation. Be careful. Ada has a way of convincing people. You may think you have the strongest will, but there's a reason she's called the Queen of Seduction. She just, she just, she nods. Thank you again. And she's gonna head back. You make your way back. Do you go back in through the window or through the front? Probably make my way through the window. Okay. Or actually, no, through the front. The rest of you see Brynja arrive through the front door. Morning! She's just, she's just gonna kind of look at you kind of like a little dazed. And then she's gonna walk past you and up the stairs. As she's walking up, I'm debriefing her on exactly what just happened. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't, a lot of it's it. Just... Morgan probably can't tell. It goes in one ear out the other. <laughs> and I was just wondering if you had anything to ask Kim before he died. Go up to my room go inside it. Imagine I have had, I've put the bed, like, against the dresser and had, like, made myself a little nest in the corner, away from yep. the dresser. <laughs> and I'm gonna move the bed, move the dresser, pick up the blanket bundle. Is there a fireplace downstairs? Yes. There or is. is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna kick the blanket bundle. Make sure there nothing's left in the dresser. Um, and I'm gonna take it downstairs, and just throw it in the fire, and stand there. Probably look a little crazy. <laughs> I just look to to the barkeep. Astro just. I'm just gonna walk over to Astrid and be like, how much did those cost? <laughs> it's, it seems like she's had a rough time. Uh, just part of the room cost. I'm gonna go up to Reyna. Astrid's an angel. <laughs> yeah. I've wrecked so much of her shit, and she's still yeah. nice to me. <laughs> <laughs> she's a... What's up, Morgan? Oh, sorry, not you, Brynja. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm just. I was like, that's weird, watching... but okay. <laughs> I'm just standing watching this blanket burn in the heart. I just kind of like 
poke her shoulder, like, hello? Hello. What's, uh... What's going on? Of the wonder. Gods really are watching over us. I. So we just play things? Wait. That's what my dad thought. Just look over. I'm like looking at you now because before it was just like just glazed, kind of barely, kind of a, just slide acknowledgement. A lifetime of lying is finally catching up to me, Morgan. What do you mean? You think I'm being punished? For what? This ability I have to speak with the dead, it's a gift from Sayun. Okay. I've done nothing but avoid it my whole life. And now I need her. <laughs> and now I bloody need her. What do you need her for? And I just kind of motion to the dagger. good thing how would you even how would you even go about trying to summon a god much less talk to them it's me i don't think she would even want to talk to me i know i wouldn't you make it sound as though you intentionally slighted her I did. I called her gift a curse. Oh. I don't actually know the temperament of this god. It varies. So what do we do? You don't need to do anything. We find Rina's ex, we find my brother, and I deal with this. Bullshit. Craig mentioned... Craig mentioned, uh... The last place that, uh... Kipson signed out to was... Before Syun, or whatever the hell her name was, my bad. Before her... She's, if there's some way to rid yourself of this, then surely it would be there. If you can get a way in. If we're already planning on going there, it wouldn't be bad. I went to the cleric and he said that to get rid of this thing, I need a very, very powerful arcane no one no offense morgan i don't think you are um i'm not the, the most skilled yet i have a lot of unless lot you have us unless you have a secret for um getting rid of falkir and uh anchoring uh rituals then um i got one for lucid dreaming 
Pink oh, also, I developed mind. a small tincture for joint pain. That will be... that's very useful. But I don't think, at least yet. But I'd like to start researching it. Maybe I can take a look at your situation every so often. At least... At least want. try. You want. Very careful, it's kind of... I'm never gonna get rid of this thing otherwise. If what you told me is true, and it is an anchoring ritual, perhaps we can find it someone else dependent on. No. I am not doing that, Morgan. I'm not condemning another soul just to save my own. If that... Why would the heavens right? even let me through? No. It's just an option. Slimy bastard, but not... No. Not damned to an eternity of flark or torture. Kind of slimy bastard. I see what happens to a soul when I'm not doing that to someone. I wonder if he knows anyone. He was in league with Victus. They were bringing secrets, and he really wanted power. I wonder if he had any really skilled magi in his employ. We're in a talking relationship, and he has about three days to live, so I just kind of want to get as much value out of him as I can. Oh. Oh. I guess... What do you think? I don't know. I'm just exhausting options. Thank you, Morgan. You're doing more than I have in the last... I just look down at the hearth to see how the blanket's doing, if I see any of that, um, rose. The blanket has more or less been fully and sufficiently consumed. The only thing that you catch is just the last remaining ebony black petal of the rose burning in the flames. I'm gonna spit into the flames. I'm done being a god's plaything. Well, let's start with ridding you of this. Maybe we should tell everyone else. They look behind me, realizing we're so not too far away anyway. from everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, we were definitely. Well, I will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me just speak for myself here. <laughs> Reese is still in there. He can't help but be a nosy bitch. I mean, that's that hasn't yeah. changed. got a visit from Black and her sister last night, or at least she tried oh. to talk to me. I went to the cleric this morning to try and see what he could do about this, and it was out of his hands. But it's not... Impossible, at least that's what he told me. Figure out something in that same once. Follow his leverage. He 
You hear kind of a chuckle from behind you, Reeves. Reeve. <laughs> what city you wants? No, no, it's not that. It's just the spec here on Jimbo. Are you going to make me ask, or are you going to explain? Just be careful. It's no secret that Seiyun can be kind of a bitch, depending. It's her magic fluctuates, and it's not the only thing, though. It's just the spec year. They like to put up this facade that they're so much better than the Harnier. I would be very careful with your neck. I'm just saying, not everything is as it seems. I'm telling that to someone whose mother was a devout follower of Seyun. And, in my opinion, it seems all the gods have some facade. But maybe from separate areas of beliefs, they're all the same family. If you're gonna talk to her, try to catch her during a full moon. Uh, yeah. That means we we'll have to find the bargaining ship in advance. Well, she's Do we need a bargaining ship at all? Oh, yeah. She Especially just... if it's... Oh. oh, she won't help me with her doing the goodness of her heart? No. Be lucky. I'd be lucky mm -hmm. if her only... If she just asked if I go back home. <laughs> That's wishful thinking. And even if she will... You say she won't change her mind about being so generous when the moon starts to wane. We need some kind of insurance. Would we have to find yes. her? Or could we talk to her separately? This... I've never been one. I've prayed to her from time to time, but I don't think... Never, I don't think my heart fully in it. It was just something that I was raised on. I think because I avoided her gift as much as possible and was quiet about it for so long that, you know, I didn't want to get too deep into it because I was literally spitting on her. Um, oh. This is something that I just... I've been putting it off for too long, and I just need to deal with it. I'm a witch. I'm sorry. What's the moon tonight? The moon tonight? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me. The moon yeah, tonight the is a full moon fading. Yeah. It's a full moon? Oh. Full moon fading. Well, ain't that just... Of course. <laughs> Can I think, try to think of, like, <clears throat> stuff my mom would have on her altar of shit that's, like, Sayun likes? You know, trying to dig into that. Oh, God, okay, what did my mom do? What were the little shits that we always would have around the house? 
Sayun, the goddess of the moon, is, is very heavily associated with reflections. Um, mirrors, still water, basically anything that you can think of that would reflect something. Do any of our rooms have a mirror? Is that <clears throat> fancy? Um, yeah, I mean, there's probably a few rooms not... with some, like, hand mirrors. Yeah. Rinya's just I mean... gonna, like, do we have a mirror? Any sort of reflective surface? Clearer the better. Well, I... My thing is witchcraft. I'm not really big into... I don't know how to work with gods very much, but... I might be able to help you with a ritual uh, in the elements. That's helpful. Did you need like a bigger space to work with? I don't know. I don't know these things. I just know my mom always had like the the the, the reflective thing is a big is a big thing. We had this really nice mirror that she had managed to get. I think in her youth or something. I think it was actually a gift from my dad. I don't know, but that's, she centered a lot of stuff. That was the big thing. Well, so, I don't know, a clear body of water, <clears throat> take a mirror out to have it reflect the moon and do, I don't know, something. Does anyone have a mirror in their, their room? I think mine's broken. <laughs> So, there's the lake by the tomorrow's house. It's not there. There's also the coast, but that's not as likely to be still. If you give me about an hour, I can make a really good ritual space for things reflective. If you want to, I wouldn't say no, Morgan. Um, thank you. It is the middle of the day, though. Yeah, it would have to be later. Preferably I just want to make... <coughs> <laughs> well, my specialty is the woods, so we could do that. Find a clearing. Is it just here? I know a good place. Just you as clearing to talk to Gilgrove. I mean, I'm sure I could get people in. I'll see if I can while you're doing that. Well, it's gonna be tonight. Maybe I should go with you just because we are on a talking place. We can wait till tomorrow then. Did you want to talk to him alone? I just more wanted to be there to talk to him. But this so why not do precedent. it today? We have time to kill. Because this takes precedent. Well, but it's not going to take me long to set up the ritual space, is what I'm saying. Okay. When we have the entire day to kill. Okay. Does anyone else want to talk to Killcrow? Might be easier than me asking just questions I don't know. If I get into the same room with that man, there's a good chance I'm the only one walking. So, no. Same. Was there anything you wanted, any information you wanted out of him? Unless he knows where they've gone. If he knows no. of any other bases. Then, I no. Asked him. Okay. Run you. <clears throat> Thank you, Morgan. I guess. Uh, I might. I should probably go. Um, I need a bath. Um, right. Um, Thank you, Alan. Um, No, no, go ahead, choose, just cut off. I'm assuming you don't want to go back to your room, 
give him, and I'll just gesture at the fire. Now that that thing is not in there, it's better, but. Uh, I'll just toss my key over to her. Use mine. I won't pour much use into that room anyway. Need to sleep you should... too. Well, you shouldn't be alone. Okay. I indicate for Arthur to, like, land on your shoulder. <laughs> Arthur does. Kind of sits on your shoulder and lets out a little caw. Thank you, Arthur. And I tell him, I tell him, she is very sad. You need to be good to her. <laughs> kind of cocks his head and looks over to Brynja and does, like, a little, real soft peck. <laughs> Aww. Thank you. Sweet. Can you see through his eyes? Am, am I supposed to? No, because I'm going to go take a bath. I just want to, um... Oh, no. Can I? <laughs> no. No. Okay. <laughs> Only when I cast not, a certain kind of spell and it has to be... Uh, don't worry about it. No. Okay. Um, I mean, unless you want to show, but I don't know. Um... A show? I just I, I say something to him. Do you have a talent? And um pat him on the shoulder. Oh I'll be it right back and I look over to Reese. Are you sure you need to sleep? I will be fine. My... I have a hard time sleeping in beds anyway. And she just kind of nods and goes to pay for some hot water from uh, from Astrid, as well as uh, how much for the blanket. Um, sorry about that. There's a... Don't worry about it. Pay for the, pay for the bath, but also I give her a little extra. <laughs> <laughs> On your way up, Brynja, Reeve kind of swings off his chair, kind of walking parallel to you. A word, if you don't mind. Um, what's up, Reeve? He kind of wastes to st start talking until you've made your way up the stairs, kind of away from the rest of the group, mm -hmm. and kind of stops right before the door that you're going to go into. What I said earlier holds true. Be careful whatever you're gonna do with Sayu. Just remember that she's still the same person. It's just her motivations change. You can use it to your advantage if you understand that enough. You have some uh experience in this? He kind of just like opens up his cloak and reaches in and pulls out a small little cloth bundle hands it over to you. Not anymore. It'll serve you better than me. Mm -hmm. I look at it. I open it up. It's in there. You open up the cloth. It's a small little locket. Um... It's got uh, the symbol for Seiyun on the exterior of it. Uh, and on the interior is one side, uh, a reflecting surface that as you kind of tilt it, uh, almost makes it look like the face of the moon as, as the light catches it. And then on the other side um, seems to be some class where maybe uh, some sort of painting once sat inside of it. Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you, Reeve. I'll, I'll take what you said to heart. 
and I'll keep this between us. I hope she helps. I do. I do too. And as he turns to go, you swear you can see that he's tearing up a little bit as he walks back down the stairs. I look at Arthur. Do you want a bath? <laughs> kind of just like takes a couple steps on your shoulder further from your head. <laughs> no, I will get a separate bowl for you, Pervert. Come on. <laughs> Try and clean myself up. Because I assume ever since using that dagger that one fucking time and being so withdrawn, not eating that much, drinking a lot more, the traveling that we've done probably have lost some weight and don't look the healthiest I've been since meeting you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Can probably see some yeah. ribs in some places. Yeah. Yeah. It's... It is a well, uh, it is a very well-deserved bath, and one that is, feels very nice. So yeah, I'll just clean up and eventually make my way back down, wherever anyone. <laughs> you make your way back down to the rest of the group, um, just as the, the three rangers, Frigg, Glacy, and Reeve are all kind of standing around with their packs over their shoulder and they kind of nod to the rest of you. Well, I think we're um, going to get on out of here. Just stay safe. Don't yeah. die. <laughs> we'll do our best. <laughs> Sorry, um, we couldn't have met each other again and better circumstances um. free kind of oh there'll be another time good good I need to make up I missed out on uh, having some drinking games with you so <laughs> I owe you I will keep that in mind I offer my hand the handshake same with uh, Lacey, and then uh, with, yeah, yep. Reeve, I give him a, a little bit firmer and kind of linger and just it's kind of nice. Stay, stay safe. See each other again. Count on it. Lacey kind of gives the rest the of you face. a wave. Oh, sorry, go ahead. May the face of every good news... And the back of every bad news be towards you. And we will see you soon. They all kind of smile. Lacey gives you a shy wave. Nice meeting. Well, nice seeing all of you again. Sorry. <laughs> it wasn't nice to meet you. Oh, I no, understand. it was No, it was nice meeting the first time. And so I... Oh. Sorry, I'm bad with words. Me too. Bye. Bye. And I'll point out, Frig, next time I want to hear about all the ass you guys kicked, yeah? <laughs> Hell yeah. <coughs> and they, uh, they take their leave. is all set up. I'll be near the Citadel. Oh, are we not going to talk to 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 Guy right now or no? Oh, uh, we'll do it after. Why not? That's, he means tomorrow. That's not until the night. Yeah, oh, we have never to mind. Wait for the night time. Never mind. Redacted. <laughs> Redacted. <laughs> Redacted. <laughs> uh, Take it back now, y'all. Yeah. Uh... So, you want to head there now? That way we, you have time to... But, sure. Does anyone want to come with to talk to the murderer guy? I probably should 
I wanted to bring some water and eat something. I haven't had anything today besides a bottle, a uh, half a bottle. Oh. <gasps> yeah, I maybe get, that's I why I threw up things. earlier. Oh. I should get more ingredients for tea. He actually seems to really respond to it. I think I could do it in a different way this time too, like a pour over kind of thing. I'll, I'll show you, come on. About to... oh, right. <laughs> 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 All right. I basically prepare the tea the same way. It is important to me that every time I meet with this man that I have tea. <laughs> sure thing. <laughs> <laughs> You make your way back to the keep um, and back to the dungeon, eventually finding yourself at the cell of uh, Kilgrove. Not friend. Oh, you're back. And I brought more tea. I brought someone who wanted to ask you some questions. And I slide like the tea through the bars. I sp I sprinkle like the root on top, and I mix it in. I get like some sugar. And... I don't know how you take it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 I don't need to know. I'm ten. We're moving on. I know. I'm ten too. <laughs> we all are. You can all see we all bought it. So. <laughs> he kind of sighs and makes his way back over and kind of sits cross-legged in front of the cup of the tea. Takes a sip. So, we saw the location. Oh. We saw the locations marked on the map. Why there? Not sure. I gave them quite a lot of free reign to do whatever they wanted. But you knew about the as soon as we pulled it out, you tend to live. Well, yes, you can thank my wonderful companion for that. So, you truly have no idea why they targeted those locations specifically? Black stones to the north, I don't know much about. It seemed to be an interest of theirs, say, we'll get to it if we can. The excavation site, I... Something to do with their Red Lord, I don't know. They seemed to think that there was something... related to him, perhaps either an artifact, or a map, or something. This is less important, but more just annoying question in the back of my head. Why the Shatter Clubs? You had a connection with the Blood Rats. Why double dip? Oh, no, I do not have a connection with the Blood Rats. They hate me. Oh, right. Sorry. Getting that confused with the Maros. Never mind. Yes, actually. Uh, I was able to uh, fulfill that little task of theirs that you neglected. That's why they hate me, actually. Good job! If it's any consolation, we neglected to do a task that they sent us to do whenever we met with them. Hmm. Yeah. How was it seeing uh, Eskel die? I always hated them. Annoying pricks. Hmm. 
Reese looks like he's about to talk and then just turns to Morgan. It was rather frightening. A shadowy figure just appeared, killed him, and then left. We never really got a solid answer on that. Do you know any wizards that might be able to help me to decipher unrelated uh, wizards that might be able to help me to decipher some weird book that I can't produce? Do you know any powerful wizards? High clerics, about it. I have some sway with the morrows, but. I want to see if he is telling the truth. Okay, notice. Or at least in this general conversation, I want to see if he's holding anything back. Mm -hmm. Okay. I also would love to do that. <laughs> Reese is suspicious as shit. I'm just having a hard time believing this man is so utterly clueless. Yeah. The the guy who worships the But I mean, the God he is secret. also... He's also a dick, so maybe he just is. <laughs> oh hell! Oh hell! Okay. What if I? What if both dice explode? Pick the higher one. Both and see whichever one. Or do you higher. roll both? <laughs> <laughs> do I roll them both? Um. You roll. Yeah, you roll both. Because then you still keep the total separate. You just roll them both because one of them could end up being higher. Okay, so... Ten. Ten. Seven. This man has been beating around the bush in every single question you have asked him. I don't think you're this... clueless, friend. What do you have to gain by not telling us everything? Aren't you clever? He's got a plan for getting rid of him. That or he thinks his god will still favor him if he keeps all his secrets. Is that true? He's got shrugs. Oh, that's so disappointing. <clears throat> Deep from within, shadows entwine, a beauteous dark design, close to the skin a fresh green core, in a vessel roots can explore. I'm going to cast Entangle, utilizing the roots that he drank. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's <laughs> you so fucking wonder why we why think we... Morgan why like why we distrust Morgan so much. <laughs> then you pull shit like this and you're like, guys, I don't understand. Morgan's a pure cinnamon roll. He would never do anything insidious <laughs> like what why you're do suggesting. Why you always go this to the worst case scenario? This boy, this child is casting a spell through this man with roots he has ingested. I am just about re reducing, reusing, and recycling, okay? <laughs> oh my god. I don't want you to do not cast a spell. I want to make him cough up a Get to question why we have those kinds of thoughts about Morgan ever again. <laughs> you do not get to question us when we're like, I'm what sorry, the fuck I is your game, man? I don't understand, and you're not here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this is not Reyna. This is Silas speaking to Julian. No, you're not here either. <laughs> <laughs> what happens to this poor this he's not a poor man, but what happens to this man's stomach? Odin. I don't wanna I don't wanna yeah. explode him. I just wanna make him understand what's happening and I wanna make him cough up a leaf. 
He kind of starts coughing a little bit, as you can see, he's starting to have discomfort building within. Um, he kind of <laughs> coughs up a small leaf and lands in his palm. He just gives you a There's death a stare. Ways this can go. Are you more afraid of the Jarl, your god, or me right now? And I just kind of let the spell grow a little bit, just to the brink of discomfort. You see him kind of like squirming. Until he says something. And as he's squirming, he forces himself to stand up and puts a hand on the bar and pushes his face to it, looking at you. Starting to grit his teeth as the pain gets worse. I'm going to spend an extra PowerPoint. <laughs> I'm going to spend an extra PowerPoint, motherfucker. I'm going to... I am going to increase the damage of entangle of ensnare. I'm going to spend two extra power points to make him take 2d4 damage at the end of every turn. Okay. <laughs> He's you see him gritting his teeth. You hear a couple cracks as he probably cracks some teeth. He's biting down so hard. Fuck. <laughs> Kind of drops back onto his bed, like holding his stomach. That three day time frame's really shrinking right about now, isn't it? Who Dead man, that? either way. <laughs> ah, but at least this way, you're beautiful. I imagine your god hasn't quite made up her mind about killing you. I have, so you might want to kind of go with the punches. This isn't what we talked about, Morgan. It's too late now. If you do it on your own, then, and I'm leaving. I'll slam the door behind me. Kind of grits his teeth and forces himself to sit back up in the bed. Well? What do you think you're going to get out of me? Well, that's the problem. You've kind of been, like, misleading me this whole time. Which really sucks. Give me something I can work with. Kind of thinks for a second. stop and I'll think about it. Are you really in a bargaining place right now? Let it grow a little. <sighs> Everything's a bargain if you make it. You want info. I'm gonna retract it just a little, but I want him to still feel it inside. Okay. Hello. to know. You said you've been beating around the bush. What have you been hiding? I 
has guided my whole faith. To only part of the truth, not the whole truth. Time to convert. <laughs> I think that time's long past. Be direct. What do you want to know? I'm going to ask you the questions that I asked you again, and you're going to tell me the full truth. And if there's nothing new for me to go on, then we're going to have to change the measures here, and you're not going to like it. So I'm going to go through the list. <clears throat> First off, does he know where they're going? The, uh, the disciples of the Red Lord. They wouldn't say where. All they'd say is somewhere that they could be outside the purview of any sort of hold guard. Somewhere that was free. And where is free? Hell if I know. <laughs> Next, what is the connection between the Red Lord and the Flarkier? None, as far as I know. The followers of the Red Lord were talking about how gods had failed them. Flarkier they needed to go on their too. own power. But they're dis the people they are disciples of the champion of a god. Don't know how that one works out. Best guess mm. something happened to piss him off. Are you misleading me again? Why would I have any reason to mislead you now? I don't know, you've been pretty stonewalled up to this point. Mr. Colo is from the first stage. There's not much of a written record of him. Anything I tell you will be a I know. Guess. I know Reese has left, but I want to ask Reese's question again, and I don't remember exactly how he worded it. Can you help me out? He had asked um, if he knew what were in those sites that were circled. Well, the northern side. I never quite make out what their opinion on giants were. All I know is it's related to them. Excavation, I did tell you about all I knew for that one. And finally, do you know of any wizards who could handle a strong anchoring ritual. Anchoring ritual. Is that what they were doing in the underkeep? A stronger wizard than your cleric. Vernick Morrow. Where is he? He likes to sit down in their little family property down in Alron. Never leaves it. I need one last thing for you before I leave you alone. Just come here. The bars. 
I increase the pain. He grunts and slowly stands up. Makes his way over. I want to get a little lock of hair. I stop for it. And, uh, I just go and take a big swig of tea. <laughs> Wonderful. And I drop the spell. Uh, I hope that was worth the relationship with your friend. And he goes and sits back down on the bed. That's fine. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yes. And please enjoy your execution. I'll see you around. And I leave. All right. Where do you go? Where is everyone? I go back to my friends and I tell them what I learned. I'm just hanging out until it gets time to fucking talk to the moon, bitch. Oh, wait, shit, no, I'm I can't go back to my We're friends. traveling with the sociopath. Guys, we're yeah. traveling with the sociopath. Yeah. What the so fuck? I'm not there. I'm taking a lap around the city. Wait, okay. yeah, I'm not. I, I have to go set up for the ritual. You make your way out of the woods. I think Reese is fine. He has a way of changing minds. <laughs> you make your way out of town. Oh, um, buddy. <laughs> while the area is not heavily wooded like you're used to in the hearth, you do find some small collections of trees here and there along the foothills. I just want to cast Galan, and I want to, I want to carefully plot out... I want to create like a large ritual circle and make an enormous like uh kind of like a man-made lake i want to melt all of the snow and have a walking path uh straight into the middle of it it's like this perfect 98 percent circle okay and make sure there is plenty of room for the moon And I will make, keep it up until showtime. Alrighty. Reese, you take your lap. Yep. And once the lap is done, I'll go to the inn and go into what was formerly Brynja's room and just stay in there. So, yeah doesn't smell great. I've only had about a day to marinate in there, but it's it's definitely the window was probably actually left open so it smells better. Um, but you do but see it is cold. Like, like <laughs> it's cold. The drawer, like the top drawer of like a dresser is like it's like half a jar and the bed is like askew because it the bed was pushed against there and there's like a, the blankets or bed rolls that were left over. There's kind of like a nest um, probably a, a broken bottle or two on the ground. You know, it's not the not as bad as the one time where I had a few days to really, really. Uh, <laughs> but you could tell it wasn't a good night last night. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll spend the rest of the day cleaning. Oh. <laughs> so this is how, how I imagine this goes: of Reese walking back in. Reese walks in. We all turn. Hi, Reese has. Okay. Yeah, no. Full, like, power walk. Not saying a word. Not looking at you guys. I am the Azravana of this group. I... I think that was... Firmly... That was very Osbin of you. <laughs> that yeah. was very That was very Osbin. That was very, that was very, very Osbin shit. of you. I'm something in between. Oh, no. I ship it. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm just sitting at a table. I watch that happen as I'm just trying to eat something hot. You know, I'm try I'm like trying to okay, let me try to take care of myself for a hot second. Okay, this try is this more difficult tea. than I thought. 
I don't want your tea. <laughs> no, not sorry. Metaphorical tea. Oh. <laughs> the tea of friendship. The tea, the tea of gossip. Is this like Elle's origin story? <laughs> yes. I have done nothing even remotely <laughs> close to what Osbin has done. True. That is fair. And y'all love him. <laughs> Not Nate right well, now, I mean, no. I think that's accurate, but okay. <laughs> oh, see, I don't think that is 100% accurate. <laughs> no. It's a no. If anything, before this last ritual, I don't think Osmond has been unsupervised for any, like, decent chunk of time <laughs> for a while. Facts. <laughs> Right. Oh, day has got fucking rose-colored glasses. It's bad. All, we'll that all these. Ra- anyway, continue. Yeah, yeah. I need to get to this ritual tonight. I am gonna die and believe on this cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. All right. So, for those of you still in the inn, what happens next? I mean, I don't know where the fuck. Morgan went. Oh, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I gotta be. I, I'll like, go back to town. <laughs> I'm just waiting I'll, for I'll, it to get, get dark. To and I'll be like, is this way? <laughs> like, nothing yeah, happened. Like, you think, well, I guess it didn't go very well then. Because no, I could back to the the end, I found a spot. Uh, did you talk to the guy? Yeah, and it actually went pretty what good. What the I got fuck some more happened? What do you mean? And what happened? Reese just came in here like a fucking bat of the hell. Is he okay? He looks pissed look as fuck. Okay. Seemed pretty upset. I, I don't know. Well, anyway, I'm encanting this thing. We gotta get started because I can't keep to go on a while. It's a stretch. Uh. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna go upstairs. Assuming and... you still want to do yet, Do you want yeah. any of us to go with you, or do you want to do this alone? I'll have to talk to her by myself, but if anyone wants to be there, I won't say no to that. Let me just let... When I went upstairs, know that... Uh, give me one second, Morgan. Um, and I'm gonna go upstairs at first. I'm gonna go to his room because I don't think about it. <laughs> and like open and then then listen. Go to my room. <laughs> Knock. You hey, what's up? It's Brynja. Um, oh. Morgan, what are you doing? Cleaning. I, you didn't. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, that's like embarrassing. Unlock the door and then open it. Just a crack. No, it's fine. I just want to, didn't want to, you know, leave it for her to clean up. So I figured someone might as well. And since you're going to be busy, I figured I'd do it. Still hood up. Yeah. <laughs> um, Morgan just got back. He said that this the thing needs to get started. Um. Mm-hmm. Uh, just letting you know if if you want to come, you can. Only if you want to. I. Would you like me to? If you want to come, you can come. Love, that's not what I asked. Damn it. I'm not gonna... I know I bring you stress, and I'm not gonna bring any more of it. If this is something you have to be clear head for, I will help. I will come. 
but I'm going to bring you heartache by being there. As ever, you talk to her with a clear head. Bringing me heartache no matter what, you know that? Look, I... I'm sorry for the things I said the other night. It's... I just don't know who I'm mourning right now. Because I realize... The person I met before this whole shit started... Reese, Carl, what do you call him? I thought everything that was happening was just him getting to know us better and letting it out, but it was, it was you and him, and this is just confusing as shit, okay? And then you having a different face is... I don't know if it's helping or not. It's... You don't have to apologize. It was honestly arrogant of me to think that there would be no soreness. You have nothing to apologize for. I should have let you have your space. And the reason why I ask is because if the space is still what you need, I will leave it. I'm tired of being alone. All it's done has made me miserable. Look at what it's happened so far. I obviously don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So, uh... And I'll just like set down a broom that I was holding behind the door. <laughs> just be like, together then like that and I'll just give her a little hug <laughs> and, and she is gonna for yeah and then she because now I'm taller than you now <laughs> yeah <laughs> 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 My how the turns tables. <laughs> and I I squeeze a bit hard. Um <laughs> How things are easy is it? The gods never make anything easy. That's one of the few things I'll remember. And I'll close the door and lock it. And just gesture for her to lead. Yep. Walk back downstairs. Make your way down with Reese All and right. Let's get the shit over with. All right. And I lead the charge. I'm like, it's this way. Right here. Right this way, sir. <laughs> come, come to my circle. Lead the way, Morgan. Your circle is ready. <laughs> you find your feet crunching against the snow as you leave the city. The hustle and bustle, sound of carts, conversations all left behind as nature finds you. The silence of the night is deafening as the nearly full moon above paints the landscape in an even brighter white than it should be expected. Morgan guides you to the site of the ritual, in which a space has been uh, completely cleared out to present you with almost perfect reflecting surface of ice. Yeah, yeah I think this will work. say a little 
little something, a little prayer in Sylvan that I would hear my mom say. And as I walk out to the wherever looks like the center that I should be at and like kneel down and take out that little locket that Reeve had given me and open it up to see the different reflections of the moon and kind of like sit that in front of me. And think to myself, now what the fuck do I do? <laughs> <laughs> so I look at the reflection and see if I can see the reflection of the moon well. Teach you and ask for your audience. Make me a spirit roll, please. <laughs> Either that or faith. We're both the same, so I mean. <laughs> Can she have um, advantage? Because pretty circle of ice. <laughs> I am granting you a. Advantage. I am granting you a plus two. Um, oh. One is for the the circle of ice, and the other is for the locket. Thank you. Oh come on! I'm using a Benny. I'm using a Benny. I haven't used a Benny all day. This is yeah. No, it's really nice. Benny. Okay, okay. Better. Oh, much better. Okay. Uh, seven. Seven. Okay. You sit there in the silence, listening to nature around you as the wind kicks up snow, blowing it against the landscape. You feel the cold biting against your face as your nose and your ears get cold. And you look down at the locket and at the ice. You see the moon above as it's perfectly reflected, matching exactly what you have in the locket. You suddenly feel shallow water around your feet. You don't see much else. You're still in the same landscape. You don't even see the water except for just ever so slightly in the reflection of the ice. You swear you can see what looks like a shallow pool. Those that attended this ritual with you are not around you at the moment. Your voice. Step towards the pool. Oh shit, okay. You're far from home, little listener. I am. Even bolder to contact me in the north. Um, I know I have no right to ask you of anything. But I can't think of anyone else. know what plagues me, who plagues me. I don't know what to do. Mm. 
family can always be true. Sorry, go ahead. Um, I know I've been running from you. And maybe this is my punishment. I don't want to bring anyone else harm. What do you hope to ask of me? You tell me how to rid myself of this, what I need to do to give to you. What I can do to make up for the transgressions that I have put before you. Be simple. Come to Mornstar. We'll talk. You slowly look in your reflection as you hear just the slightest droplet of water. The stillness of whatever water was reflecting off of or beneath the ice is broken as the ripples of the droplet of water spread outwards, shattering the image. The ice in an instant goes cloudy, no longer as reflective as it once was. You find yourself again surrounded by those who joined you here. I just look back to everyone. You could have, like, out of a dazed kind of. She look. wants to talk in Morningstar. In person? She said to meet there. They walk among okay. us. We saw one. I know, I just. Yeah, maybe she wants to kill me in person. I don't know, but she at least was... didn't sound... She's at least... she listened. So she lives in the stuff. She's there, at least. Or maybe someone, an avatar, or I don't know, but she... I would guess there. Thank you for the circle, Morgan. No problem. Where are you heading? I'm gonna reach down to my flask and then stop. And take out my flask and look at it. Open it. Look back at the cloudy, reflective, once reflective surface and just... Don't run from you anymore. And start pouring it out into the snow and into the ice. The liquid falls from the flask. Initially a stream as it fills the space, coating the cloudy ice. Until eventually it begins to run empty. Drip by drip by drip, 
until one last drop hits the ground. And the music slowly comes to a close. The coldness in the room dissipates. The bard swaying in his seat as he brandishes a mug. He puts it down to the side. Oh, you'll have to forgive me. <laughs> that stuff was quite a bit stronger than I expected. It's gonna make waking up a lot harder. <sighs> it makes you think, though, my friends. Everything in this mug, from what it started at the top to just that tiny little bit left at the bottom, you have to be careful of just a drop. Every drop of liquor drank, every drop of blood spilled, every teardrop that falls, it dictates another step in the path towards your fate. A drop can make the difference for someone walking the knife's edge, pushing them off one way or the other. And who's to say where the next drop will lead? Good night, my friends. I will see you again.